Daryl Dickens here with artpalaver.com and today we're talking about profile pictures that you use on various internet sites like Facebook and your blog and Twitter and all those good things and a lot of people have to take their own profile picture with various results so today we're going to have a palaver with a photographer that's going to help us learn better techniques to take your own profile picture using a simple point and shoot so we're going to talk to Christina Graciano about how to do that Thanks, Errol. Um, I'm Christina Graciano. I'm a photographer specializing in weddings and portraits. And like Daryl said, I'm here today to help you take better pictures that you can use online anywhere you need a profile picture. Um, shooting outside is always the best. I think if you can do that, um, nature provides us beautiful light. However, I think common sense is to shoot in the sun and put the sun behind the camera. That's what my dad would do anyway. Um, the results with that are kind of harsh. Um, as you can see, me in this sun, I'm squinting. My skin is probably blown out um, in the shadows. I have shadows under my eyes. Not great light. So I would recommend taking cover, finding some shade under a tree. Is to find some open shade like this. And it's still full sunlight somewhere, just not here. And I would also recommend having the camera placed a little bit above you so that you are kind of crouched down and um, keep your chin up and smile. The last thing I recommend is setting your camera to, um, to manual white balance. And any point and shoot you can do this. All you have to do is go into the settings and set it to cloud. And that way you will get a warmer skin tone. When you're in the shade, the light is very cool, kind of bluish. And when you set it to cloud, it will compensate for that and give you a nice warm skin tone. If you would like to take your picture indoors, just be aware that there are lots of challenges. Mainly, the light is pretty low inside, which will cause your point and shoot camera to fire its flash. It might be fine, but generally speaking, on camera flashes like on your point and shoot will cause very harsh shadows under your chin, behind you, and will tend to flatten out your skin and whiten things out. One alternative to this is to turn on a lamp or to add some light somehow, like this one. And then you know, it'll add some light so hopefully your camera's flash won't fire. You can keep adding lamps until the fire, the flash doesn't fire and just, you know, kind of place them strategically around you. Um, just be aware that with different kinds of light bulbs, you will have different color temperatures, which means that regular light bulbs tend to be very yellow. Daylight is kind of blue, so if you have light coming in through a window, that's going to be kind of blue. Fluorescent bulbs tend to be kind of green. So just be aware that if you are using different kinds of lamps, you will probably want to shoot in black and white and set your camera to black and white so that you'll get a nice exposure and the different colors of the light won't matter. Another good way to overcome the challenges of indoor low light situations is to find a bright window to sit next to. This way it will give you some nice side lighting and it will give you some nice shadows on the other side and you can take a good picture this way. Always, regardless of whether you're, where you're taking your picture, try to keep it, remember to keep your chin up, your shoulders back, and your posture good. And three-quarter pictures, profiles, are pretty flattering universally. And um, to get a more relaxed looking smile, if you want, it's good to inhale deeply and smile and shoot as you exhale. So, and that generally looks a little less fake and more relaxed. So I hope that's been helpful for you.